All right. Uh, this is just to help uh, out with uh, a lot of folks who say when they turn on their GTX 345, they cannot immediately see the Bluetooth on. And I'll just show you what that is. Um, if you go under the system, so it says system, and that's where you see backlight. And then you scroll with your... Um, you know, you scroll, you see messages, and then you see Bluetooth on, and then you see GPS acquiring. So some people don't see Bluetooth on on their, um, you know, GTX 345. This is the Garmin transponder, uh, ADS-B out and ADS-B in. Um, if you do have that kind of problem, then think of two things. Either you did not enable Bluetooth in the configuration setting, or number two, you turned on a bunch of other things that is telling the GTX 345 that it is now wired to um, a bunch of other accessories like the G1000, GTN, or other wired components. So the GTX looks at that and decides, okay, I'm going to uh, funnel information to those accessories um, and so you don't need the Bluetooth on. Again, GTX 335-345 um, pilot's guide. You're going to notice in section 34 that um, Garmin does say that you need to uh, be aware that if you hook up, if you wire, um, or if you if you turn on um, your uh, transponder and tell it to be connected through HS uh, D, DB um, to G1000, the GTN, and a bunch of other things, then you're not going to see this Bluetooth on. Okay, so now that we've cleared that. Um, I can show you how you need to make sure that this thing comes on if you if you have issues with not seeing the Bluetooth when you turn on your Garmin and you're looking for it to pair your handheld such as the 660. So we're going to turn off now. Power off. Okay. And then to enter into configuration we're going to hit enter and on. And then we're going to be in configuration. Now we're in configuration. You can scroll through the configuration using the eight or nine uh, buttons, and you can look at these and see this is just, um, you know, your volume and audio. And then we go to the next one. If there's something you're not using, turn it off. Okay? So you can see here I turn off um, channel one, and I go into the next one. I'm not using the 422, I turn it off. I'm not using the uh, Airing 429 in, it's off, channel 1, speed is not applicable, so um, output is off, and then the, H, um, the HSDB interface, it usually says G500 slash 600, is it present? I say no, it is not present, I don't have it, okay, and then audio. Uh, in which is function audio, audio uh, mute. I don't usually like it there, so I'm gonna say my audio, my discrete in is usually I push enter and I'm gonna go to um, I think Gilham. Uh, that's my um, it's enabled, yes. And then I'm gonna get out of there. I usually push it back to the beginning. And then I go to the next page, and then the next page has a bunch of things. Um, the feet, I, you can put whatever information you want there. And then you're going to see ID 1, and then the VFR ID is 1200. And then all of those important things, that's your discretion. Uh, flash message, yes. Bluetooth, now here's where that first point I made. You enable Bluetooth, do not disable it. It's enabled, and then once it's enabled, then you go to the next one. The EHS is always disabled. All right, so I just push it back to the beginning and then hit the next page, and then I have a bunch of uh, functions there. So I go 
I look at the photo cell, I look at the transition, that's all your discretion, and then there's nothing there for me, so I go and hit the next function. Then I start with uh, outside air temperature, no, I, that's not installed. Uh, what is your altitude source? Is the Gilham? I have the Garmin altitude encoder. I don't, in, I said none because I don't want it to create confusion. And then I move on to the next one. And then anything I don't want, I say is not applicable, not applicable, not applicable, not applicable. I push it back to the top and then I hit the next page. And then in there, I can look at um, a bunch of other things. And I'm looking for uh, specific things that would allow me to see whether I enable or disable. Uh, 1090 ES out control enabled, yes. Um, how about uh, UAT out remote control? I don't have that, so I said not applicable. Um, and then... 1090 ES incapable, I say yes. UAT incapable, I say yes, because this transponder is both in and out. All right, ADSB in and out. And then it says ADSB in processing enabled, yes. Okay, and then of course a bunch of other things, um, and then I push it right back to where it needs to be. Right, and then I will go to the next page. And the next page tells me my uh, altitude is 400 feet right there. And then I go on and look at a bunch of other things. And then anything I'm not using, I turn off. I'm not using channel 1, is off. I'm not using channel 2, that's off. I'm not using the Eric 429 channel 1, that's off. All right? It's no, or not applicable, whatever applies, right? Uh, off or not applicable. And then the so-called... G500 slash 600 is not applicable. I don't have it wired. It's not connected. Navigator is not applicable. I don't have that. So all of those you have to uh, uh, turn into uh, either no or not applicable. And then I push it back to the beginning. And then I go to the uh, next page. And it brings us right back to the beginning. So now that I have all of these then you can now turn off and get out of configuration and then hit on again to come back to configuration uh, to come back to regular operations uh, sorry and then um, you know now you have bluetooth is on all right so it gives you bluetooth because you've turned everything off you've just basically following the 3.4 on the pilot's guide of the 345 uh, 335 and 345 pilot's guide section 3.4 which says if you don't have things wired to your G1000 GTN uh, then the Bluetooth should show up and allow you to connect to your handheld such as a 660 uh, it actually allows you to connect to two um, you know uh, pieces of um, you know accessories you know, 660 and maybe a iPad or I a tablet um, so that's it right there. Um, so 